This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 8th April 2021. I am Aditola Kayode. You welcome. Vice President Yemi Oshibaju has decorated the new acting Inspector General of Police, Usman Al Kalibaba, with his new rank at the State House Abuja. The Vice President says, although the new RG is assuming office at a very turbulent time in the life of the Nigerian people, where there are multiple threats to law, order, and public safety, he should strive towards putting in place workable machineries that will ensure community policing with local communities to gain ground. The new police bus, however, assured that the police will rebuild broken bridges of trust with the public and also regain their confidence. The outgoing IG Mohamed Adamu thereafter handed over to his successor at the force headquarters. Until his appointment, Usman Al Kalibaba was a deputy inspector general of police and will be in acting capacity pending his confirmation as inspector general of police by the Senate. Nigeria and the United States are reviewing the relationship between both countries with specific regards on how to tackle the debilitating security situation in the country. The constructive engagements between the House of Representatives and the U.S. Department of State saw the Nigerian delegation, led by the Chairman House Committee on Defense, Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson, Chairman House Committee on Army, Honorable Abdul Razak Namdas, and other members, assuring that the Nigerian Air Force will be better equipped to fight insurgency with the new fighter jets expected from the U.S. The Deputy Chief of Mission, Ms. Kathleen Fitzgibbon, and Daniel Ritchie led the U.S. team. The House was resolute in acknowledging the contributions of the U.S. to the country's growth, but they say the U.S. is however doing much but speaking less, which denies the citizens the ability to assess Nigeria's relationship as its ally. Myanmar's ambassador in London says he has been locked out of his embassy. Kiao Zhuamin said staffs were asked to leave the building by Myanmar's military attaché and he was told he was no longer the country's representative. Min described the event as a kind of coup in the middle of London. More than 500 people, including dozens of children, have been killed so far as pro-democracy protesters demand a return to power of elected leader Mei Siu Ki and her National League for Democracy, NLD party. Party. And that's News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Coyote. Have a fantastic day ahead. <music>